Deputy Collins. Thank you, uh, uh, Minister, this bill is nothing short of a farce. Um, you know, it, it reminds me kind of a sketch from Killing the Scully, if it wasn't funny, but it is, uh, if it, if, if it is uh, destroying people's livelihoods and, it, and it's, it's an attack on the mostly, uh, mainly on the young people of Ireland. Remember, Minister, as I said, if it's a sketch from Killing the Scully, people might laugh, but it's reality. There's 260,000 jobs being affected here. There's between 5 to 7 billion euros uh, lost to the economy. The, most of these businesses have been closed 400 days, Minister. Imagine 400 days to close your business and to try and survive uh, with the door shut. And now the gun's to their head. You're telling them you'll open it, but you'll open it our way. Uh, you'll open it our way. You'll stand at the doorstep and you'll, step, you'll say yes to you and no to you. And the poor gentleman or lady comes along and says, I forgot my, uh, my, 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 my uh, cert. Uh, but I was here last week. You probably can't be left in. Um, you know, you're, you know, it's, it's an incredible situation you're putting the, the business people under. They won't be able to cope with this. They, it will lead to massive job losses, closures in businesses, and I'm warning you that that's going to be the situation. And and what we're it's going to divide families. Um, we're going to have situations where son and daughter can't go in, mothers and fathers can go in to have some food. It's, it's terrible, terrible division uh, and something I could never ever um, agree to. It is rushed legislation. It's proved that yesterday when uh, Minister Catherine Martin came out and said the COVID search will be got, not to worry, everything will be started, COVID search will be got. The GPs, GPs came out straight away and said, what the hell? We're not having nothing to do with this. Don't be putting us into that category of trying to resolve your mess. And, 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 and uh, the tonish comes back out and said, no, no, GPs will have nothing to do with it. So you're all over the place uh, in relation to this because you're rushing into such a panic to get it across the line so they can ta uh, pat them in the back. The opposition, your TDs from your own party, TDs from Fine Gael, uh, senators from uh, both parties have been crying crocodile tears to all these publicans and all these business people for the last number of, um, for the last number of months. And now they have a chance tonight to stand by them, to stand by every publican that they promised they'd stand by, to stand by every restaurant owner that they promised to stand by. And we we'll watch them carefully as to how they'll vote. Will they vote to destroy their livelihoods further, or will they vote against this nonsensical carry-on and start getting this country in, uh, open in the proper way? Now, a previous speaker said that some people here want to open uh, up the dangers and don't care what we do. We have a very clear motion tonight. We want to make sure that people that go in properly sanitise, wear masks where possible, um, and, and, and have social distance, but at least they be left in, and left to the businesses and to those people themselves as to how they, um, how they, how they behave, basically, and not have this dictation on them. Two million people are vaccinated in this country, three million people are not, so that's a lot of people that are going to be kicked outside the door for the next number of months, and God only knows for how long. You, you, you've now created a two-tier society, the first attempt of any government to segregate uh, people in this country in a century. So well done, Minister. You will never be forgotten uh, for what you've done here to the people. Um, and I, 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 you know, I mean, I can name out several instances of, of the, the farcical situation you're going to be in, where you're going to have people inside working, working hard, um, in, the, in, the, in, the, in the industry at 18 years of age or 19 and are not vexed to no fault of their own and they're working all night, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 o'clock, they're working with them, um, the people that are inside having a few drinks or whatever, having a bit of food. But at, at, at 11 o'clock if their boss decides to give them a 10 or 15 minute break, they have to run outside the door. Run outside the door because you, you, haven't, uh, you haven't ever thought of that situation, that the worker that's unvaxxed is, is, is in a situation that they're inside um, in, the, in the business all night. I don't know. I really don't know where we're going with this legislation. All I do is plead with the opposition TDs to w wake up and don't, or sorry, the, yeah, the government TDs to wake up and, and not support it.